Hi and welcome to another kind but nonetheless very exciting tutorial about my new notes to go application. Some of the users have requested some insights to the features and so I'm recording this little tutorial to show you all the functions and how to accomplish um, most of the things you can do with this new application. So first of all, when you launch the app for the first time, um, you will get three demo notes, which um, you can, of course, tap and then get the notes content. You can, in each note, select an individual style. So this is a pl very plain style. This is a more professional looking style. And this is, of course, some kind of a book style that you can select for your notes. Um, just choose whatever you feel most comfortable with reading, actually. And here at the top of every note, you'll get a bar of icons like um, the trash icon, of course, to remove notes, but you will get also these um, these colorful of uh, colorful icons that indicate with which kind of media a specific note is associated like this one um, The red icon is highlighted that means that this note is associated with a map So of course you get a map view here Which when you tap it brings you to the iOS maps application So when you create a new note you simply press the red button here and you can then associate your current location um with this note so if you have found a great cafe or something like that that you'd like to remember just save it uh, by creating a new note naming the cafe and then pressing that red button um, another thing that you can associate with your note like a, um, a, a recipe that you could associate with a shopping list um, is the blue indicator so once you press the blue button um, you can simply enter to do items or shopping list items um, row by row so every row represents one to do item which you can then um, simply mark as done. Uh, what you can of course also do is adding a photo to a specific note which when you press it uh, can zoom in and also press the share button and then can share this photo uh, very simply um, and just drag to the bottom to get rid of it again. So because notes to go does not see itself as a replacement for let's say Evernote we have included this Evernote um, share button which every time you press you can select a the the exact destination where you would like this particular note to go in your Evernote library so in which notebook um, with what tags and so on um, because we think that Evernote sometimes is quite hard um, to use when you're on the go and you want just to simply uh, create a quick note um, so you just create your notes and notes to go and then later when you have the time you can select the Evernote button and sort all the notes in um, into your Evernote library so these are the basic functions that you get for free and if you have an Apple watch then you can also pair uh, when you have started the Apple watch application uh, for the first time then you will also get this yellow icon here uh, which allows you to transfer notes specific notes to your Apple Watch so if I press the Apple Watch icon here and on the third note here um, then we will get those two notes transferred to the Apple Watch and you can simply read them here um, and you can of course also deactivate it again and then the notes will be gone on your Apple Watch. This gives you just a very quick way to just take the most important notes that you would like to have on your wrist with you and simply find them through a very short list. And of course you can also um, press this mark this spot bu uh, button on your Apple Watch which will also uh, create a new note and associate it with your current location. So if you don't have the time to get your iPhone out, um, just use your Apple Watch. So, and because this was um, particularly requested, I'm going to show you how to create a um, to-do list. So I'm simply creating a, uh, a new note and go back. And then you simply press this blue button and um, one item per line, um, like uh, tomatoes and apples. And I press done. And then you get this clean and easy to-do list. And you can, of course, mark them mark these items as done so this is everything you get for free 
um, when you download the app. But if you want to go a little step further with the new update, we have added some great new features that you can get um, if you press on the menu button and select add new features. And um, one, these are actually three features that you get for $2.99. One is a great markdown support, uh, which lets you create markdown content and then later export it to HTML. You can also save websites in plain text as a node and later export them to Evernote or whatever you want. Um, and this works, I like to say, even better than Evernote's export feature. Um, or export extension that you can use in Safari. And then we can also let you protect your nodes using Touch ID, or if you don't have a Touch ID sensor, you can also use a passcode. So let me just show you how to use the passcode feature. Um, you press again on the menu button, and then you can select secure access, and then you will enter a password. Um, as a fallback if Touch ID does not work or if you don't have a Touch ID sensor and you click secure and that's it. And once you close the app and reopen it, you will be prompted either for your, uh, for your fingerprint or in my case now for a password because this, the simulator I use does not um, have a Touch ID sensor of course. And this is one of the great new features. So what you can also do is, um, as I told you, um, use the export extension so that if you have a website, you can simply press the action button here. And you then, of course, here will be the notes to go icon. And when you once you press it, you can um, you can just post this recipe, for example, to notes to go. And then once we head back here, we have our ancho chile shrimp and pasta recipe whatsoever. And then you have this recipe in very clean, plain text. And then later you can associate it with the, um, with the again, let's use tomatoes here and uh, maybe some pasta and olive oil. And last but not least, I'd like to show you this great markdown feature. So if you create a new note, let's say with um, best quote of the last days, um, and then I've prepared a nice quote here, simply paste it. Life is about making an impact, not making an income. And I'm simply adding some list items here, like uh, item one, item two, item three. And then if you'd like to activate the markdown feature, you simply press the markdown button at the top, and then you get this markdown bar. And then you can select, for example, the header here. Um, you can make an emphasis here, um, select this as a list item as well as this one. And these are just a few selected um, and most used markdown um, markdown uh, operations. You can, of course, use all the markdown um, operations that you'd like and then simply say export and you get a nice and clean HTML, which you can also um, share via email messages or whatever you like.